Don't you hate it when people beg for likes on videos? Like if you agree. What is going on fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It's your host Galadon. Thank you guys for stopping by. Nine secret tricks, or maybe not so secret tricks, but I want to know if you guys knew all nine of these, okay? First is first, we're just going to get right into this. You can name your armies. The custom armies, if you click on that little blue thing to the left of where it says Army 1 on the screen, you can type in any army name you want, okay? So I never knew that. I mean, this is unusual stuff. I had no idea. Don't know how that one slipped by, but right there. Now, most of these ideas are new to me. Maybe they're new to you, and they came from the Supercell forums. So shout out to Vman2612 from the Supercell forums for pointing that one out. But that's just one. All right, now there's a few other ones here. This one could be helpful for war players. You can, in essence, spy on your opponent's war clan castles during preparation day. Now you go to the war map, you click on their clan castle, and you can see how many troops are inside. Now, of course, you can't see what troops there are, but the numbers can kind of give you an idea. For instance, that looked like maybe a dragon right here. Check this guy out. He's got 24, I'm sorry, he's got 34 of 35. So you'd have to guess maybe Lava Hound and two minions because oftentimes with air troops, people don't want to fill any ground troops in there that would come out and lure troops into the core. That was a handy one. That came from Sharky Finn, a Supercell Forums moderator. Here's another Clan Wars tip. You can get more war stars. This one comes from the pesky dingo from the forums. I didn't realize this. Now, if you were to say three star this base that had been two star previously, you will get three stars added to your total war stars even though you're only getting one new star for the war. If the base has been three star previously and you get another three star, you won't get any additional war stars. So the way it works, it's only specifically if you're adding stars on. So if a base has been one starred and you two star it, you get two stars added to your war tally and so on and so forth. But it only works if you're grabbing a new star towards the war. All right, number four. If you see somebody's got a donation above, all you have to do is hit that exclamation point and it will zoom you right to that spot. Now that one's maybe not quite as obscure, but again, there's nine of these. I want to hear how many of these nine you guys knew previously. Also, I knew this one. If you want to scroll all the way down to the last chat message, just click on that top of the bar. Click where it says clan or click where it says global. And what that's going to do is scroll you all the way down to the last message typed instantaneously. So no more endless scrolling up and down the menu systems. You can just hit the exclamation point to get to the donation that's either above or below the chat you're at. And then again, hit that top where it says clan or global to get to the last typed out message. And a shout out to Hazer1Mike and Link33 from the forums for those tips. Number six, this is one I did not know, and that is you can tap on your clan tag or your player hashtag, and a little button pops up that says copy. You can copy it to your device clipboard that way, so you can paste it somewhere else. I had no idea, I can't tell you how many times I've manually read this number, typed it, memorized it, whatever. I had no idea. So thank you to the forums user Palu Elite Family for pointing that one out, super useful. You just saved me a ton of time. Next up, number seven, finding that pesky hidden bomb or item that needs to be upgraded. Obviously, you can click on the builder and it's going to tell you what upgrades are in progress and what upgrades are being suggested. But what if you click on the actual item? So I clicked on the bomb in the menu and it shows me where the bomb is. Bombs are super hard to find, especially this one here. I had no idea where that bomb was. So again, you click on the builder up there, the little information button, and then you can click on the actual item or building and it will take you to it. It'll center you on it in your village. All right, number eight, magically swap buildings. This one only works if you're not in building edit mode. So you do this on your home village and you'll notice if I pick up one building and put it directly on top of another building that's the same size, like this barracks and the elixir collector. Watch the elixir collector move over. I, I had no idea it did that. I Seriously, that's a new trick to me. That is super cool. I, I had no idea. So the elixir collector over here, and boom. I, I think that's cool. Even if you don't need it, 
it's just cool looking and I never knew that existed. So shout out to Yellow Hat from the Supercell Clash of Clans forums for pointing that one out as well. So I was really surprised there was a lot of information on this thread that somebody had started about useful features that maybe you had missed on the Supercell forums. And uh, there's one more and we're going to get to it in just a moment. As I pop my head into the clouds on my main accounts, you guys are probably looking for update and leak information and things like that. I know everybody's super impatient about it. They want that update to drop. I want it to drop just as badly as you guys do, I promise. And uh, again, you know, I'm giving you all the information that I can. And trust me, I, I feel like the anticipation is going to be worth it. You guys are going to be happy. And just again, shout out to all the users on the Supercell forums. I'll put their names at the end of this video. But it was just so cool to have such an interesting transfer of information. Uh, usually it's like people note stuff from videos in the forums. I thought this would be fun to do a little reversal and bring the information that people were posting on the forums to a video because honestly, I don't know if that many people were going to see that specific thread. And I've been playing Clash of Clans for years since Town Hall 9 came out and I never knew uh, maybe two thirds of these pieces of information. I had no idea. So we're in the clouds and I'm just about at 5,000 trophies and I'm gonna go ahead and just let the rest of this roll live as I was recording this live as I was in the clouds and I was kind of in for a surprise. I had no idea what was about to happen. So number nine is, oh, now 36 trophy on the guys watching. All right, Blah from East Berlin, I, I, what is number nine? Oh, number nine is you can look at your clan castle troops uh, while you're attacking. If you hold down the clan castle, uh, it will bring up what the troops are inside, the Lava Hound and the Balloon. I had no idea this 36 trophy offer, this is the biggest offer I've seen in ages, hold on. Okay, so pretty standard, I'm just going, um, I'm going with my spam Lava Loony attack here. Oh, Lava Hound's down. Okay, and the Warden goes in behind that, a couple of raid spells, then we wait for the Warden's ability, and the, that, oh, the poison spell over there, got a freeze, man, well, 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 last, last raid spell, hold on, no panic, I'm okay, there's the freeze spell, oh, oh, okay, I got the eagle, I got the, okay, so we're gonna wait on the next freeze spell until that thaws out, any second, now, oh, that's it, okay, and, oh, go balloons, come on, we gotta get the eagle down, gotta get that eagle down, 40%, 40, oh yes, look at the balloons spread out to all three defenses. Oh, you're beautiful balloons. I love you, you beautiful balloons. You beautiful airborne hot, oh, look at that. First star, and now it's just a matter of getting that town hall out of the way. Pups, balloons cleaning up out there. Okay, we're gonna come for the top, oh. Why is that wall breaker going there? Of all places, really? Okay, oh wait, the wall's open. Oh, below and to the right of the town hall, the wall's open. Oh, this is amazing. The walls are, it was the balloons that must have blasted it open with their splash damage. Come on, King. Oh, we're good. Archer, yeah, on the wall, okay. Now, I'm pretty sure the King is gonna path towards the town hall. Wait, is he? Come on, I think so. Oh, oh, the gold mine, I didn't see the gold mine. Okay, now the town hall, please, town hall, come on. Yes, 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 going in there. Oh, beautiful, all right, so I think we're good. Archer Queen comes in, he's right on the town hall. I don't care where the Archer Queen goes. No, I seriously, I actually do, come back to the left. No, town hall's going down, second star. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna grab the second star and come on, anytime. E yes, there it is. So not bad to catch this live. I'm really sorry for BLA from East Berlin. Uh, just happened to catch me recording live. 36 trophy offer. And we're gonna let this run. Still got the queen's ability. We'll see if we, we can't get to probably, I don't know, 75, 80% right here. Let's keep going. I don't think we can get a three here. I think that'd be too much to ask. I mean, it's not a three star army. Uh, but it definitely is a good two-star win for 24 trophies. It's gonna come and uh, so that was number nine. What was it? Oh, yeah See what's in your clan castle now in case you forgot. Okay, hold on Queen's ability here and go Okay, so anyway, that was number nine. That is the nine things that uh, maybe you didn't know about Clash of Clans hidden features cool features uh, that make life the quality of life just a little bit better for Clash of Clans users and uh, we're always looking for new stuff like this. So let me know if there's something down in the comments. Tell me if there's a feature that I missed that you think is amazing that most people might not know about. 80%, there it is, the queen goes down. Archer's following in behind and we're gonna grab a 24 trophy raid live. Live as, uh, as the spectator watched me there and uh, a nice way to wrap up this episode. So again, you guys, thank you as always for watching. Get ready, the update is so close that I can feel it. I am trembling with excitement as I know you guys are too. 
Got my star bonus as well, back up over 5,000 trophies. Just in time for the update, not that it matters. If you've got the boat on your screen, then the update is for you as well. Thank you guys again for being the hashtag Galafam for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Let me know down in the comments if there's some things you didn't know or some things I didn't know. I appreciate you guys very much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Get ready for the Clash of Clans update. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and of course, come back again tomorrow for more full attacks. I'm prepared to win Clash of Clans again.